Hey y'all, what's up? This is Evie and welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how I did this super gorgeous blue glitter ombre on Miss Keisha. So for this look, I'm using Long Care Pretty Nails White Acrylic along with this gorgeous ocean blue glitter. And these are available at the Long Care Pretty Nails shop. So I've already prepped Miss Keisha's hands and I filed down her previous nail design. And I'm just going in with a white acrylic at the tip and we're going to create a nice soft ombre. Making sure to keep this layer pretty thin because we are going to encapsulate this nail and we don't want it to be thick. Um, so yeah, uh, I forgot to mention I do use the clear acrylic as well. Um, so after um, applying a little bit of clear on the nail bed area and then um, using a bead of clear and dipping it into the glitter, that is how I'm applying the glitter onto the nail. And this video is sped up, but you do want to take your time when placing the glitter because you want it to um, just cover perfectly. You want it to have that perfect gradient ombre look. So definitely take your time. Um, this nail took a little bit longer than what you guys are seeing here. <laughs> but yeah, I did take my time to make sure that all the spaces are covered and you know, the glitter is just placed where I want it. So after allowing the glitter to dry down a little bit, I went ahead and encapsulated it with clear acrylic. You wanna make sure to let the glitter dry some because if not, when you go to encapsulate it, you will move the glitter and all of your hard work will be for nothing. <laughs> so definitely make sure to wait till the glitter kinda you know, sets in place. So I pretty much repeat the same thing for the ring fingernail and the thumbnail. Um, just starting off with that white, creating the ombre tip and then going in with the ocean glitter. So for those who don't know, Miss Keisha is a silicone practice hand that I got from Red Iguana. And Miss Keisha comes in handy because your girl likes to practice and you know try different colors and stuff. And I only have two hands, so <laughs> um, I like to practice on this and you know, I just like it. So if you guys are interested in getting a silicone practice hand, I do have a 10% off discount code that I will leave in the info box down below. I will leave it down below. <laughs> um, oh, that just, I just love this ocean glitter, y'all. It is so freaking pretty. Um, so yeah, once you got that glitter in place, make sure to give it a few seconds. Well, give it about 30 seconds to let it set in place. And then go ahead and encapsulate it. So you won't move any of the glitter because, you know, it's an ombre and if you move the glitter, it's not gonna look like an ombre. It's just gonna look like you threw the glitter onto the nail. So for the middle fingernail, um, I'm doing a ombre as well, but it is a reverse ombre. So the glitter is going to be at the tip. So I am starting off with a white acrylic around the nail bed area and just fading that down the nail, making sure to get the right amount of coverage of white, but still keeping the nail thin. And I just repeat the same thing, grabbing a bead of clear acrylic and dipping it into the glitter and carefully placing it on the nail. Um, and for those who want to know, I am using a number eight Alpha Kalinske brush. Number eight is my favorite size. I know it may be small for some, but this is my favorite size brush. <laughs> so yeah, just go ahead and encapsulate that. All right, so for the index fingernail, I'm just going to do this in all white. So we are just going to do an acrylic overlay over the entire nail using the white acrylic. So after applying all of the white, I did encapsulate this with clear. 
um, just because I wanted to not fall away any of the white so this is after all of the acrylic is laid and as you can see I did the ombre on the thumb as well and I'm just going to do my shaping and filing all the products that I use will be linked down below so make sure to check the info box all right so after filing shaping and buffing I'm gonna go in with a coat of the Poochie's nails super shine gel top coat on the pinky nail and the index fingernail And I went ahead and cured that only for 10 seconds because I want that to still be tacky. Um, and then I'm going in with this iridescent chrome powder. I believe I got this from Gearbest. I will try to find a link to this. But I just wanted to try something new and see how it will look over the glitter. And it's okay. But I like it best over the white nail. Kind of just turns it into that opal color. Um, so I just lightly brush off the excess and then we're going to seal that in with a layer of gel top coat and fully cure that for 30 seconds. Alright, so now for the fun part. <laughs> I'm going to go in with some clear poly gel and we're going to apply our bling. Um, so I'm using the McCart clear poly gel. I just put a dollop of that on and then I went over that with the gel top coat. Um, and I'm applying some chunky crystals. I'm using the chunky teardrop diamond and marquise uh, crystals and I also went in with some opal crystals as well and all of these items are available at the Long Care Pretty Nail shop so I will leave links to everything down below. And as I was doing this I didn't know where I was going but it kind of looked like a Giuseppe Hill you know. <laughs> So I went ahead and cured that and then I'm going to add some crystals to the middle fingernail as well. You guys know I love cuticle crystals so I just couldn't do this set without it. So after curing that in my LED lamp for 30 seconds, I'm just going to apply the top coat to the rest of the nails. And doing a final cure for 30 seconds. This is the finished look. Miss Keisha is slayed, okay? <laughs> this set is so beautiful and it's simple but it's blingy and it just looks like some boss bitch nails. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. Head over to the Long Care Pretty Nail Shop where you can pick up the acrylic, the glitter, the bling, everything I use in this video. Thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you in my next one.